Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2 first official showcase where we have, as you can see, all of the aquatics and geez, it was a pain to get all these because one issue that this game has for the sandbox, I might point out, is if you go and say you want to make a dinosaur, okay, let's just say good old Attenborough here, you can't just make it, no. You have to assign scientists. However, you don't get them, like, at the highest stats. So you have to train them and all that stuff, which you have to do, get the research for in challenge mode, which is a very p pain in the butt, basically. It's it's difficult. Which, oh, 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 God, someone's uh, glitching out over there. As you can see, there are a lot. And that is because there are quite a few skins, actually. We are going to be looking at all of the aquatics from the ichthyosaurs over here all the way to the other side of the island to... Oh god, this is going to be a tough thing to talk about because, well, I kind of made an oopsie here and... Well, if we, if we just go like this, yeah, that's a big oopsie. But we're going to leave those guys for later and we are going to start with the ichthyosaurs. Now, as you can see here, I have two ready to be released. However, as you can see with this one, there is only one dinosaur ha going to hatch, and from this one, it is six. And the reason I have done this is because I want to show you for this one, it is the skins with a pattern on top. So the ones that are all incubated here, these are all the ones, all the different skins without the pattern included. Because if we go into, uh, can we just go into here to ichthyosaurus as you can see so let's modify genome now if we go into the skins as you can see there are ten uh... Ugh, excuse me skins well base skins and then you also have patterns which these are five this one is the basic then you got the pepsilafix i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not good and i'm tired Pick, oh god, I'm not gonna just say them, they're, they're these ones. The only one I can pronounce is Rana and Charlacarona. Or something, goddamn, whatever. Anyway, anyway, so, what I have done is, for this one that we're going to see, with it hatching, that is going to be the pattern version. Then we're gonna look at all the ones without patterns, just to see all the colors of the rainbow for each dinosaur. And then this is like their max amount that they can have, which for the ichthyosaurs is actually eight, but there is a glitch. There's a few glitches going on, which hopefully Frontier, after I record this and upload this, will discover and, of course, will probably fix them. I'm hoping. Something. Maybe. But I think that was the most source done, was it? Yes, it is. So we can stop going on speed and seeing these guys move like bullets. So, we are going to start with the ichthyosaurs. And please, hopefully, hatch. No. It, let me guess, it's right there? Yep, it's right there. Okay, so this is the glitch I'm talking about. Like, for some reason, they will not hatch right now. Like, it happened when I was doing challenge mode and stuff, and I don't know what's up with it. But here is the first... Ichthyosaurus we are going to see, which, are you going to move? There you go. So, as you can see, this is the Ichthyosaurus, which, gotta say, looks very nice, and I do like the way it looks. Very dol dolphin and sort of shark-like, because of, well, the eyes are just definitely screaming spooky, but it looks beautiful and graceful, and we kind of need you in the light because we need to see the skin. So, as you can see, there is a pattern on the top of its back, the faint yellow and red. But we are going to move on to the next one, which this is the base pattern, I believe? I think it is, I'm not sure. It should be, but it. I think the yellow one is. Then we got the next one. No, this is the base pattern, because for some reason they all have like, not their first um, skin is the base one. I don't know. It's kind of weird, their order of skins. Same with the dinosaurs. Then we got a lovely sort of greeny slime colored one, which, oh, there it goes in the shadows. Then we've got a, another pale, another green one, but a bit lighter, it seems. Then if we move here, oh, we got a very dark one, which 
due to it being in our shadows of the concrete, we cannot really see it, which I believe this is... Oh, there we go. It is sort of a... It's got a hint of purple in it. At least that's what I can tell, which I'm pretty sure this is the sort of purple one. And I like how it fades from different colors. The top's very dark, the middle's sort of a gray, and then when you get lower, it pales out. But you see it's sort of blending into each other, which is a really nice feature on it. Oh, did we just move to someone else? Nope, there we go. Okay, so let's try that again. Next one is a ghostly green one, which... Oh... Da, 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 it's fine, guys. It's not Bruce the Shark. It's a Ichthyosaurus, which I love the sounds of these guys. They just sound beautiful. Next one is a sort of grayish one, but ha they all have a hint of green in them, which is kind of a little weird. And also, he's got some makeup on around his eye. I just noticed, and oh, his head is going crazy. He's like, uh, uh, which way? Uh, that way. And... Number eight, what's this one? Ah, uh, so this is the one with a hint of purple around the face, it seems. And they, oh, this one's got some eye shadow on it. Well, actually, eye brightener, I, you say, because it's completely white. And then, ooh, a lovely sort of tea, turquoise -y color, sort of matching the water around it, which, which also has some nice colors when it's above, which... Gotta say, really, really loving this guy. And if we go next one, ooh, a lovely brown one. And then, yep, that's the final one, which these ones are the same skin as you can see. So this is what it looks like without a pattern. And this is what it looks like with a pattern, which can you get in the light, please? Thank you. Which ichthyosaurus, one that we all assumed would come in the game. It's one of the most iconic aquatics, apart from Plesiosaurus and, of course, Mosasaurus. Which, speaking of which, I think we should go to the Plesiosaurus, which is over here. And we are going to release it. Oh, wait, nope. I just released the sixth batch, so... Okay, well, okay. So anyway, anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by some by noise outside. So this is the Plesiosaurus, and he's about to phase through a bunch. Hold on. Let him face it. Oh, go oh, Jesus, the nightmare feel of them splitting. Yeah, that's a weird glitch. What is up with that? Okay, so this is the Plesiosaurus with a pattern, and ugh, the snake head. I don't know what it is. I, I like Plesiosaurus, but I don't know how I feel about this design. It's The head's really snake-like, and Maybe it fits it, I don't know, but it's kind of weird. But we are going to move on. Are you a pattern one? Nope. You're a pattern one? You're a pattern one. Come on, let's just go to one. There you go. So this is the first skin of them, the basic it seems, which, oh, he's drifting along and looks very, very nice. He looks so happy and stuff. I don't think he really would be happy with all these guys budging in, but as you can see, a nice creamy yellow, and he also, an interesting thing about these aquatics is that you either get ones like this and the ichthyosaurs that are really, really smooth, or you get, or some of them look very crocodilian or dragon-like, which in the next one, elasmosaurus, we, you will see what I mean by that, but the next skin here is a nice brown, which really contrast that yellow eye actually i really like that actually that's a good choice of colors the next one is a green sort of in between actually it's an in between of the yellow and brown actually very nice then we got now that's a proper green right there and he looks so happy though oh my god these guys are really really noisy and it's getting loud oh we got a sort of brownish gray one here and then this one is more on the similar to the other one just more gray and then this one is a dark silver one which got that one look that one looks very nice i like that one it's a nice silvery color it it stands out and oh i love that like when you're out here it's perfectly quiet in here it's more noisy you'd think it'd be the opposite but actually no like the real world, it's very different. 
Oh, and a sort of greenish gray, it seems, which, God, get in the light, buddy. Like, look at that color, and especially with the underbelly, that just screams beauty. Then the next one, which was this one, please be source number nine. This is the brown one. And then ten, before we get onto the pattern comparison. C come on, get in the light, buddy. I can't, come on, rise up. Nope, stop glitching. Come on, lift. Come on, please. Thank you. There you go. In the light, a... Oh, whoa. That brown on that green, and then into that sort of pale beige. That is probably my favorite right there, with the nice green shades in the middle. That, that just screams beautiful. And then, of course, we have the pattern version, which I think this is the same one, if I'm... As the previous, correct me if I'm wrong. So as you can see, the pattern for these guys is just on their spine with some dots around their skin as well. And in this case, it is a sort of blue. Which, please, Dressaurus, I think probably was the least popular for the game from most people. Because, well, if we look at the um, species field guide, not many people seem to be happy with that. Which I do think is because we got to see it way too early. Like... When the Game Beaver and um, Best in Slot got to play Early Access, like, a few months before and stuff, I think just because he got, like, Game Beaver especially, he got both Most Source and Please you Source, before the Species Field Guides for those were even out, this guy got dealt a terrible hand because everybody had seen what he could do already. But still, I do like the Please you Source. But, time to go on to a different long-necked aquatic, one that is screaming terror to us, which should be over here, and that is the Elasmosaurus, which hopefully, come on, please, nope, it's not working, of course it's not, why would it work? So we'll just go on to this one, well, no, hold on, let's find number one, nope, here's number one, so, well, of course he's in the shadow, which, uh, he's kind of phasing his head through, kind of, oh, oh dear, which, as you can see, this is what I meant by Crocodile Dragon, or Super Smooth, because this thing screams nightmare. Nightmare creatures. Which, gotta say, I still do really like it. I've heard that some people hate this design, and I can't say I agree with them. It's bizarre, yes, but it works. The only thing I will say is creepy is that zombie eye, which we're going to pause, and then we are going to go into capture mode. Hold on, hold on, with that god rays, bless them. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, if you look at that eye, that eye screams zombie, because there's no pupil or any, oh my god. Look at that, that is a thumbnail of nightmares. Hold on, hold on, let's just look at that. That is scary, oh my god, that gives me chills. Look at that face. That is a face of a killer. You think, you know, Mosasaurus is the biggest, but this guy looks way scarier than the Mosasaurus. Like, yes, you'd be scared of, more scared of the bigger thing, but if I saw this face in the ocean, like, if it was just appearing from, like, the shat, from the distance, I just see a big body, and then suddenly I see that face coming towards me, I, I'm pretty sure the water's going to be contaminated with me shitting myself, because that is scary. Oh yeah, we need to kind of play, so there you go. This is the pattern number one. Whoa, what was that? Was that you? That wasn't you, that was beautiful. I have not, well, guys, as of this moment, apart from, you know, making these guys and just, you know, getting them caught in the database, I haven't really looked at any of these, so this is my first actual look at them. And this is the second um, skin, which it's not the skin pattern, which I w have already explained. And yep, there's the zombie eye, and it's green now. And this one is a sort of orangish, orangish ghosty color. Then we got a yellow, wow, a nice yellow one with a bit of wine into him. And then we got a much more light yellow one here, which they kind of look the same, actually. Just, you know, this one's a bit lighter. 
And then this one is a dark, a dark green, it seems, which this one just looks badass. This, that's a nice color on him. The green there. And the different, and the pattern actually looks nice. And the green getting brighter at the front of the head, very nice. Then this, oh boy, we're in the shadows. Oh my gosh, we've got a ghost here, guys. This is the Indominus of the Elasmosaurus. It's complete. You never told. You never told me it was white. Well, guess what, Nazrani? It is, and it's still scary as heck because. God, that face is just screaming, help me, please. And then, next one the of the Elasmosaurus. A, ooh, wait, no, get back here. Ooh, a reverse of the yellow-green one. The green is on the top with a orangish yellow on the bottom. And, wow, that is a str... You th I think it would... Normally, you'd see that sort of the other way, but it actually looks really good this way. And, oh my god, in the sunlight, oh, he's coming out, and he's stuck, and he floats down. Okay, there's a lot of glitches in this game right now. Number eight, oh my, nope, this is my favorite. Look at that skin, look at that color, the white with the orange on the head, and that blue, well, that turquoise, actually, that's a turquoise, definitely. That is my favorite, that is beauty, and... Nothing can top that, maybe. Except, nope, not that one. This is a silvery one with some white pattern on the back, which still impressive, but not better than the other one. And the tenth, before we get onto the pattern, is another, another ghost one. Wow, they got... So basically, oh my god, this one is literally Snow White. Except, Snow White of Nightmares. Hold on, let's go into... Hold on, let's go into capture. Oh my god, that is going to be a beauty shot. Look at that. F like, that skin, the white just looks so creepy. Hold on, let's get a face. So imagine if you're just swimming out in the ocean, and then you suddenly see a shadow coming towards you. And then the shadow gets closer, and you see that face. That face is scream. You're basically screaming, uh, run. But, you know... I like, nope, we do not need that, we need, no, we need to play, that, okay, no, that's a better shot, let's just get rid of that, that, oh my god, that is screaming nightmares there, people, look at that face, oh, it's a face of a killer, and I love it, now, let's play, and also, we do need to take a look at your pattern version, because I'm pretty sure he's come out, yes, he has, and there isn't much of a change, actually. Like, it's based off that skin, but there's not... Maybe the, the orange is moved off, because, like, the orange is mainly just on the head. But you can see it, like, sort of sprinkled across the rest of the body. I can't really tell the pattern from this one. Don't know. But maybe, maybe I used the not-best-color pattern to account... To contrast the base skin, but who knows? Elasmosaurus, you are still memorable. And now we are going to go. We're gonna save you for last, buddy. We are going to go for the pool of issues. So, as you can see, we have the Tylosaurus in here, which we are just going to release that one. And well, as you can see, they they don't really fit, and they're all kind of out of the water, and one's just, you know, floating there with his tail, so... Um, yeah, so, the reason why they're all in here was kind of an accident. Where the ichthyosaurus are? Well, they should have been in here. Okay, that was a creepy... Oh my god, look at all the shadows and stuff. It just makes you look think there's a hundred in here, but nope. There's only ten in here. Well, actually, no, there's eleventh because there's another one. But Tylosaurus is the second biggest of all the aquatics in the game. And, well, the reason why I have them in here is because I accidentally put them in the wrong hatchery. I thought I was in the one where we just saw the Ichthyosaurus, but, well, I was wrong. And, um, well, 
they're all cramped in here because like as you can see there are a lot of them now also we need to find number uno okay guys i'm okay i'm okay just dying so anyway before i was rudely interrupted we are going to what is probably the most controversial one here the Lipluridon, which personally for me i love them but for some people this thing is just wrong because yeah this is the okay why is it so quiet hold on there we go there we go it just went fully silent for a second i thought it was on pause or something but no and here's the light plurodon very crocodile like which i don't know how i feel about it like it's cool don't get me wrong i love light plurodon and stuff but there's there's a Okay, that is fierce calls, though, and stuff. I will say, I while I do like the bizarre design and stuff to make it stand out, I do still wish that they kind of went for the Walking with Dinosaurs design somewhat. Like, at least a skin pattern that resembles it. You know, with the black and white pattern. Which, I know there's going to be people in the comments saying, well, they can't use that because they don't own Walking with Dinosaurs. They can't use skins for that. And I'll just con counter with the fact that they used um, the Diplodocus skin from Walking with Dinosaurs, basically. And even for the Polacanthus, it's the same one from Walking with Dinosaurs. With some changes, yes, but I still wish they did it for the Light Pluridon. And yes, I know the Light Pluridon in that was way bigger than the actual thing. Which, if you think about it, the Light Pluridon... Pluridon in Walking with Dinosaurs was basically bigger than the Mosasaurus is in Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but who cares? It's an awesome design, and this one, well, it's too crocodile-like for crocodile -like for many people, and I can agree for how much crocodilian it looks. Like, the flippers sort of look like it has claws on them, which, don't know how it would use those in a fight, but who knows? I, I like the design, it's freaky, it's unique, but I can understand why some people dislike it. But, why are we not on number one, actually? There you are. So this is the first one, a pale one with a bit of brown on him, followed by number two, which is a very green one, which that one I, I do like with the brown on the scutes. Then number three is a more, is a brighter green with the brown gone from the scutes. Except it's kind of around them, like sort of around, but the tips of them are now green, which... Kind of weird. Still like it. Number four, you've already seen a darker green, which... Oh, look at that eye. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, look at that eye. No, no, get back in there. Let's close that, close that. And then if we look at that eye... Yeah, that's a crocodile, guys. That is a crocodile of nightmares. But, you know, I like it. Now get back onto him. So, if we look at the next one, number five, who apparently is annoyed. As you can see here, he's got no comfort data, no ailment data, but, you know, he is annoyed. We know it. And this one is more of a browner. A brown one, actually. Very nice. Then the next one in the shadows. Ooh, Ace. They got a lot of similarities in the skins, apparently. It seems like they've made them to fit with each other. Although, trust me, guys, none of these aquatics like each other. Because if we went into, like, say, this comfort thing and it says, like small, don't believe it, guys. Because realistically, it only likes small, aka ichthyosaurus, as a snack. Which is, like... Literally not a thing you want to say to the ichthyosaurus. It's like, oh, I can have friends? The friend wants to eat you. Never mind. And it dislikes Tylosaurus, specifically Tylosaurus, which... What the heck? Okay, that these guys got some pretty roars and stuff. Dislikes Tylosaurus specifically, which is strange, and marine mediums, which is weird, because does it mean that it likes... Most source or dislikes it. I don't know, but still, they none of these guys actually like each other. I think every single thing here can kill the ichthyosaurus, and I don't think 
it can kill anything else. At least I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Oh wait, nope, we need to look at other skins. Anyway, as you know that, number seven is more is the silver brown one with ends of red actually. That one looks very nice. And then this one, ooh, come on, get in the light, please. He, he's going a little faster. Come on, can you get in the light? Okay, nope. Well, it's a sort of, it appears to be a dark blue with um a green underbelly, which if we had it in the light, I think I'd be able to say how I feel about it. But we'll move on to this one, which is another green one, but more of a yellow green, actually. Don't. And number 10 is a very, very orange. And oh, there was the drone. You know, I would have loved if that was actually the one in Fallen Kingdom, because it would have been a nice nod. And it would have been interesting to see if they could, if the aquatic th creatures could attack it. Or for the Pterandons and stuff, their drones, but I don't know. Now, on to the pattern version, which. Whoa. Okay. That is awesome. That is a dark blue with blue spots all over it for the pattern, which, gotta say, that one really does pop out. I can't remember which one was the blue one as the showcase we already saw, but still, oh, never, never mind. That is not a blue. That is a green Satan stuff. That is, that is cool. That is awesome. I love that. And with those... The teeth really pop out, too. Like, they have a gold look to them. This guy is basically the jewel. He's got emeralds on him. He's got gold teeth. He's got silver body. What more can you want from him? Now on to what is my personal favorite. The Attenboroughsaurus, which I'm pretty sure is many people's favorites. But, you know. Hold on, hold on. We need to find number one, which is right here, which... Attenborough source. I heard a lot of people actually don't like it, which I don't know why. It's it's the coolest one here. Now get back to um number one, please. No, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Attenborough source. What? Of course, I will inform you guys that this guy can only be got bought in the deluxe DLC, so he will not appear in the base game. The rest, including Moses source, which we will see next is in the base game. This Attenboroughsaurus is a deluxe DLC along with um, Megalosaurus, Hyangosaurus, um, uh, what's the other ones? I can't remember the other ones. Pachyrhinosaurus and I think that's it? I could be wrong. What? Anyway, we're here for Attenboroughsaurus, which is kind of floating through the sky, so, uh, yep, he, he's going through the sky. He believes he can fly. Well, guess what, buddy? You're a swimmer, so get back in the water, please. Which, this one is a nice one. It's sort of a mix. It's got the wild teeth of the dragon ones, like the um, elasmosaurus, but it has the smooth, more calm body like the plesiosaurus. And I think that's why I like it. It's the perfect blend between both, even though... Okay. These guys in the water just sound gorgeous, like, hopefully next time you won't hear me speaking when you hear it, because, god, it is beautiful. And in the wa- oh, come on, get back in the water. So if we look at this one, it is a greenish color on the sort of stripes on it, and a pale body, followed by number two, who's also in the sky. This is a nice blue with green on it and a bit of turquoise actually too very very nice then we got a oh god they are just coming out a very green one with dark green on the top bright green in the middle followed by white underbelly then we got the brown another brown one who's stuck in his place again which i think i might might have too many in the game which could be why we don't have them hatching which, if that's the case, well, for the bonus little content you'll have, well, maybe if it works, you'll get this guy. So, let's go on to the next one, which is in the shadow, which appears to be another blue one. Very nice. Followed by another pale one, it seems. 
then I'm pretty sure this is the one that was shown in the um, images, which actually is kind of my favorite of these ones so far. It's a paler silver with white stripes and a white underbelly. Yeah, this is the one that we've seen in um, the tweeter... Tweeter? Austin, speak English, please. The Twitter post of the Deluxe DLC showcasing all of them. And I gotta say, I do like this one the most so far. Then we got another one, with, except it's now a blue top instead of a um, pale silver. Then we got a dark green or brown, actually. Oh, he's got a little bit of grumble added. We'll leave him alone then. This one, whoa, that one is a fully dark one. Then we've got number 11. Now, Adenberg Source is interesting out of these guys because he actually has... Hold on, hold on. There we go. It's interesting because Attenborough Source has 12 um, base skin patterns instead of 10. Every other one has 10. This guy has 12, which maybe it's because he's a deluxe DLC dinosaur creature i don't know we'll find out when we do other showcases which he's he's trying to maneuver around the others it seems and wow that orange is actually really nice he could be a good contender and then oh here's the other one a so this is the final one before we get on to the big pattern a sort of greenish blue s silver onto him which i oh my god he looks so cool like he looks nice but now onto the pattern, which, oh, thank God he's out in the water, so we can see it very easily. Hold on, get me in. Nope, come on. Get me out. Thank you. So, the pattern, as you can see, on the little bony ridges across his body are the little black spots on them. Which kind of is not the best pattern added, but I, I, I think it works. It would help if they were all the same, like, skin, but then that was the only... Yep, there's the call again. It's beautiful. They may be just glorified fish tanks, but they still have beautiful sounds. Yeah, so the pattern, it only this one kind of only works if you like you have the same skin. So like the base skin. So if I get a base skin and then add this guy as well, it'll really stand out. But for the way it shows, it doesn't really stand out too much, unfortunately. It sort of You'd think it was just the base pattern if you had multiples of these, but no, it's the uh, more standout pattern, apparently, but I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Does it work for you guys? I I think it can work, depending, maybe it's just the colors aren't right for each other, I don't know. And whoa, he is breaking his neck, and whoa, that is flexibility I do not have. Impressive work with that neck, buddy. But, I think it's time to get on to the final aquatic, the Pierce of Resistance. Well, to someone. And that is the Mosasaurus, which, can you release? Nope. Okay, fine then. Where's number one? Nope, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, here is the Mosasaurus, which is the biggest and of all the dinosaurs... Aquatics here can only hatch from one at max at a time. So it it is unfortunate we can't see two coming out, but I mean look at the size of oh god we almost faced through him, Jesus, sorry. I mean look at the size of him. He is huge. And he may not look it right now, but trust me, he's the biggest of all of them, and they're all frozen in place, except for oh nope, that one in the background did freeze. So this one is kind of a brownish yellow, which I'm pretty sure that's the one that we've seen in all the playthroughs and all the um, the showcase of the Mosasaurus, which is kind of rather boring, actually. The Mosasaurus doesn't have the best skin colors, unfortunately, from what I've seen. Because, well, actually, st scratch that. This one, in the light at least, looks a lot better. It's got a brown and a green on... In the middle, which, gotta say, works for him really nice. Although, is it me, or does the Mosasaurus seem to not be looking in the right direction? Because his eye wasn't pointing straight just a second ago. It's, maybe it's just me. 
and he's phasing through. He's getting slapped silly by this guy. It's madness, I tell you, madness. But the next one here, oh, a green, a green. Okay, so are basically all these skins the same? Just, you know, for different times. Yeah, yeah, no access because cars can't swim. We get it. Okay, so, and then this one, I can't really tell because it's out of, not in the proper lighting. Shadows are hitting it. It sort of is a brown. Yeah, it's a deep brown with lighter brown on the scoots, which, you know, very dull, but very, um, fancy. Oh. Concrete wall for our next one. He's turned into concrete. And then this one is another pale one. Oh, nope. It is a orange one, which... Okay, unfortunately in the water for the most source, they all look the same, unfortunately. Like, they don't really stand out. If you go above water, they definitely are way different. But if you go in the water, they all look the same. Like... Just, um, hold on, let's go into the aerial view, if we can get one close. So, like, nope, we can't. But you saw just a minute ago, two of, another one passed by him. In the water, they look exactly the same, basically. There's, like, no big difference. Like, right now, see? They look basically the same, but above water, they look totally different. This one's orange, that one's the brown-green one. But next one is all the way on the other side. And this one, I believe, is supposed to be based the basic skin. Because it's, like, the blue most source from Jurassic World. But, you know, nothing to it. It's the Jurassic World one. Or, oh wait. No, maybe this one is? Well, this one that is stuck. And as you can see, the scutes are colored on this. Which doesn't really match the base coloring, if I might add. And... Next one here, most source number eight, is a paler green, it seems, with brown scutes, of course, again. Then followed by number nine, which, if we can get you in the light, would really help us. It appears to be a dark green or something, something like that. Then number ten is an ev no, that is a... That is definitely a green. Okay, so this is the only one that really stands out from the rest when in the water, actually. So, right now, it's my favorite for that because it stands out. And it is a sort of paler green with a pale underbelly, actually. And then the pattern version, which, let's see, can we get a good look at? Okay, so as you can see on the tail, the pattern is, like, basically there. The front is the exact same, the scutes are the exact same, but the tail has those, um, gaps, which, as you can see, have the green, which, honestly, I gotta say, of all the aquatics, the most source is the biggest letdown, guys. Like, it, it's the only one that can eat sharks, which is interesting. I think it, I think it's fitting, of course, that it can. If it didn't, it'd be weird. But, I, I don't know, guys. It just does... The skins don't really pop. Like, even this one that has a different tail pattern, it, it doesn't really stand out too much, unfortunately. Like, the other aquatics, their skins, even in the water, do stand out a lot more. But these guys, I don't know what it is. I just don't think they're really that bad. Good. Like, the most source model is great. Just the skins, I think they need a bit more to them. Like, look at that. These two are right beside each other, and they look exactly the same, basically. Even if their skins above water look entirely different, which they do. This one's a greenish, um, this one's a green, and that one over there was a full brown. And they look exactly the same in the water. But, I, I don't know. But, that is all of the aquatic skies, which is your favorite? Is it the Mosasaurus, the Tylosaurus, the Plesiosaurus? Please, he's probably saying, please be my favorite. I mean, let me be your favorite. Is it the Lipluridon, the Attenboroughsaurus? Which, I wonder how Attenborough would think of it. Here you see me in the form of an aquatic. 
the Attenborough-saurus. Fantastic. Okay, that is a terrible act. David Attenborough impression, Austin. You should be fired immediately. I mean, or is your favorite the Elasmosaurus? Or finally, the itty bitty tiny, even though it's big enough to swallow a person, I'm pretty sure, Ichthyosaurus. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hey guys, so it's future Austin here, like few hours after recording that whole bit that you just saw. So I tried doing the a aquatic battle royale for you guys, which it turns out didn't go anywhere. Now I do know that they can all attack each other, well except nothing can go after the Mose source, I'm pretty sure. That's what I've heard. But for some reason, even when I sped up the footage, they did not want to fight. I don't know what it is. Maybe there was just too many in the game or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we will have an aquatic battle royale in a future video, but I am not sure. But which aquatic guys is your favorite of all of them? Do leave in the comments below your favorite and your reason why. And hold on, let's go into capture mode actually. Oh, that is beautiful. And tell me, do you think the aquatics are a good addition to the game? I have mixed feelings about it because one of the biggest worries everybody had with the game was that they were going to be basically what they what the Tyrandons were in the first game and that was a glorified fish tank which unfortunately has turned out to be pretty much true they cannot break out they cannot get stressed I mean they can but they don't do anything about it like when I was getting all these guys in challenge mode, they were all annoyed and stuff, but nothing happened. My park rating didn't even go down at all, which doesn't really help them at all. Oh my god. Okay, guys. One benefit from these guys is they sound stunning. I don't care about um, the fact that the glorified fish tanks, I was going to bring that up which I already did, did the glorified fish tanks, but the f oh, he's phasing out, so we're gonna follow you, mister. The glorified fish tank part is a problem, but maybe they can fix it in future DLC. Maybe they can add other aquatic things, like maybe sharks, maybe um, it, um, arthropods or something. Maybe other things to, you know, make it seem more alive, because all we can have, because unfortunately, since none of them can really mix, it doesn't feel like what you can do with the pterosaurs or the dinosaurs. You can't mix them together. You can't make it feel like it's a real ecosystem. Like, imagine if, like, say you were, had the Lyplurodon and also some sharks for it to hunt, like live sharks and stuff, like prehistoric ones, or even on the ground, like some, um, prehistoric crabs or something, or prehistoric lobsters or something like that stuff from walking with monsters or something from the first episode like i don't know they have so much potential with this to add things but it's only a matter of time and how well the game does for f the futures because so far it's been doing really well but who knows but if you've enjoyed this video guys i would appreciate the like and if you haven't already Hit the subscribe button to join the hunt so we can get more of this content. And, well, as this plesiosaurus will do the outro for us, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, you got the triples.